I'm not here to absolve you of your junk food laden sins, but I am here to tell you a bit more about a phenomenon that occurs within your body that begins around when you're born, which may change how you look at your health. Now, you might be thinking I'm talking about genetics, but not so, my friend. I'm talking about a hidden body that lives within your body. I realize that doesn't make much sense, so allow me to explain. Commonly, we look at our body as an entity of billions of cells that make up many different organ systems, like the heart, the brain, and the liver, and so on. Now, I'm not here to shock you with a myth bust that your body exists or not. It most certainly does. And our understanding of our health heavily relies on the science behind the study of our body. Yet, your body also houses billions of other cells that aren't exactly you. These cells are quite distinctly not you, but they are extremely important to your health. And beyond that, they exist on and in you without you even knowing it. I'm talking about the microbiome. The microbiome is in almost a literal sense, another organ that lives on your skin, in your intestines and beyond. So this microbiome made up of billions of bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms come in an almost infinite combination as they inhabit these different sections of your body. What's fascinating is that they, like the cells of your body, communicate back and forth between your cells and themselves. And here is where the health effects occur. If the wrong population of microbes has taken hold of your body, there's a good chance that you'll become less healthy, maybe by infection, but sometimes in more insidious ways like reduced insulin sensitivity, higher rates of stomach discomfort, weight gain, and much more. So that means it's important to encourage the residents of certain microbes and dissuade the residents of other microbes. But much of this up to this point in your life is predetermined because of how you were born. If your mother had a non-cesarean birth, your body was initially introduced to vaginal microorganisms that colonized your body and began creating this symbiotic relationship between them and the cells of your body. However, if you were born by C-section, you would have been colonized by your mother's skin microorganisms, not the vaginal ones. Right here, within the first few minutes of your life outside the womb, your health was already being determined for you. These microorganisms multiply as you grow and continue to evolve as you do. This is the distinction between early microbe colonizers and late microbe colonizers, meaning that you were exposed to early microbes at birth, but as you grow older and go grow through different stages of your life, these microbes change in population. So different bacteria, for example, inhabit your body from newborn through early childhood. As a baby, your food sources change from liquid coming from human milk and the rich sugars found therein that fed the initial population of microbes to solid foods that then force the microbes population to shift to one able to subsist on this new food. So yes, your health was affected by how you were born beyond the genetics that you share or your parents' habits, but by the residents that live on and inside you. But I would certainly be wondering how exactly those microorganisms affect my health. And are they completely predetermined by your childhood days? Or can you change them to favor your health even now? For that, let's take a look at the next video in this series and we'll crack those codes. Speak to you there.